Hi, it's Chris with the Wildberry Patch, and we are marching into Mark chapter 15. Where we left off, we were, Jesus was with the Sanhedrin. Well, where we start today is Jesus is facing Pilate. And Pilate asks him, are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus says, you said that. And then he goes on and says, aren't you going to answer? They're, they have, they have been questioning you. They're, they're accusing you. And Jesus was like a lamb led to the slaughter. Jesus refused to speak. He did not defend himself. That amazed Pilate. Pilate knew that the, um, this was a trumped up case. This wasn't anything of, of the, what needed to be executed for but it's Passover Pilate doesn't want to cause a riot so there's the city is full of people and the priests and everybody got the crowd to shout crucify him well what about Barabbas Pilate was gonna let one person um, free well Barabbas was someone who served to be executed the priests and scribes and such had stirred up the people so that they shouted, give us Barabbas. But what about the king of the Jews? Give us Barabbas, crucify him, crucify him. And it's part of the thing where the nation of Israel was going to be condemned because of their choice in the spiritual realm. Their Messiah came and they denied him and they ignored him and they killed him. Now there's the whole spiritual thing and theological thing that he needed to die in order to pay the price for our sins. Israel needed to reject him so that we Gentiles would have a way in. It's all complicated. This doesn't mean that you go up to a Jew and say, you killed Jesus. No, no, nobody alive today killed Jesus, except that everybody alive today, he bore our sin on the cross. So if there's anybody that killed Jesus, it's me and you with our sins. And that happened 2,023 years ago or something like that. So Barabbas gets let go. Jesus gets turned over to the military and they mock him and they beat him and it's just ugly. And then they put him on a cross and I have information on what is the whole thing about crucifixion, what it's like in the notes. While they're on his way, he is so weak from all these beatings, he can't carry the cross beam of his cross. And so they force a man coming in from the country was passing by to carry Jesus's cross. Now I find it interesting. There is a song, um, Watch the Lamb by Ray Bolts. And in that, the man has two little sons. Well, oddly enough, I had never um, had any indication that there were two sons until I read Mark. The father of Alexander and Rufus. So these two boys were pulled into the, um, the whole concept of this crucifixion stuff. On top of the cross he had a sign saying what he did and why he was being crucified and the sign said he was being crucified because he was the king of the Jews. He was crucified between two criminals. In Mark it says those crucified with him were taunting him but in Matthew one of the um, one of them actually says why are you taunting him? We deserve to be here. He doesn't. And he says to Jesus, 
remember me when you go to your kingdom. And Jesus tells him, you will be with me this day in paradise. So I've written some things about the different things that Jesus says on the cross. And that's, those are linked into the, the notes. So at nine o'clock, they crucified him. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. Three in the afternoon, he says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And then he let out a cry and breathed his last. The curtain in the sanctuary was split in two from top to bottom, and this was a thick curtain. The centurion standing opposite saw how he breathed his last, and he said, this man was God's son. There were women looking on. Women had a part all the way through the Gospels. Women were important to the story, and the women were looking from a distance. And the burial of Christ was that Joseph of Arimathea had recognized that Jesus was dead and went to Pilate and asked for his body, wrapped him up, and put him in the, his own tomb. And Mary, Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, which is actually the mother of Jesus, um, they just list um, the other children, were watching where he was placed. It's grace that has given us salvation because of Christ dying on the cross. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and give you the peace that passes all understanding and keeps your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. I'll see you next time.